we both enjoy a really good daiquiri. And today we're gonna to make a passion fruit daiquiri with Jamaican pot still rum. Yes. There's a podcast out there called The Bartender's Rant and they interviewed Javier Ramirez at a Las Vegas and he brought them this cocktail using Dr. Bird Jamaican rum, 100 pot still. I've never heard of it until that episode and it just sounded super intriguing because I've been getting more into Jamaican pot still rums. You got Smith and Cross, Hamilton, there's one Zamaka by Plantation that we enjoy. And I like passion fruit. So this sounded like a great cocktail to try. So we're gonna make it for the first time for us. I'm super excited. What we got here is Dr. Bird. It is a rum that is distilled in Jamaica, but it's then finished in what kind of wine barrel? Muscatel. Moscatel wine barrels in Detroit and bottled in Detroit. There's not a lot of history that I can find. It's all like hearsay, it seems like but um, it does seem like it is a blended rum from different stills in the Jamaica regions from what we can find. If you know more about this rum, put a comment below. Then we have a passion fruit syrup from Liquid Alchemist. That's the specific one he used. We've had their coconut before and mm -hmm. that was really good. Yep. And this passion fruit is superb. Then we have a vanilla syrup. How I made this was 400 grams of sugar, 400 grams of hot water, and then 25 grams of vanilla paste. Vanilla bean paste. Vanilla bean paste. And Important. it's what we use at work. It's what our cooks use. And it is on an expensive side, but it's amazing because you don't have to strip beans out or do anything. You just have a pure paste form. Right. And then I'm interested with the Hellfire Shrub from Bitterman's that he used also to kind of help give it a little bit more kick to it. Right. And then of course, lime juice. So. It's your basic daiquiri, two ounces, three fourths of sugar, an ounce of lime juice, which I can see why, because everything's so big in flavor. Yeah, yeah I'm interested in trying this out, so let's just go ahead and make it. Yeah. One dash of Hellfire Shrub Bitters, one ounce lime juice, three eighths vanilla syrup, three eighths ounce passion fruit syrup, two ounces of Dr. Bird Jamaican rum. Add ice and shake for 12 to 15 seconds. Double strain into your favorite coupe. Here we go. I love like the yellow hue of it. Yeah, it's a very, very pretty color. Mm -hmm. And then you got little specks from the vanilla bean in uh -huh. there. Here we go. Okay. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Mm -hmm. Like I couldn't take a drink without stopping to smell it first. Yeah, I should too. There's, it's a nice, there's the nice overripe banana that Oh, that's dangerously good. Yeah. Wow. This is not a daiquiri for your first daiquiri ever. No. You gotta be like... Seasoned. Right. Or just knowing what you're getting into, but like if you've never had a daiquiri before this, before this... Right. I would not make this my first daiquiri. No. But it's still, it is really good though. It is, it is smooth. It's tart. Rum just comes and it's just throwing punches left yeah. and right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's Mike Tyson. It's, yeah. it's aggressive. Mm -hmm. I could use a little more vanilla, right. I think. That's just my palate. I like it. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can only drink maybe one. Yeah. Because I'm going to be hammered. Shmammered. <laughs> yeah, no, I, Javier, great job, bud. Great cocktail. There's a little bit more components to this specific daiquiri, right? Mm -hmm. You know, the passion fruit you know, syrup, the vanilla syrup, you know, and then finding this specific rum, because I know this rum isn't readily available everywhere. Right. Seems like it's in like bigger markets and stuff like that. So that's why this Friday, or our next video we're gonna do, we're gonna do a Jamaican pot still comparison and go with a couple that you might be able to find a little bit more readily available. Right. Smith and Cross. Yes. And then Hamilton's uh, pot still black. Yes. So yeah. This is a great cocktail if you have the components or something similar to it. Mm -hmm. But if you can give this a try, go for it. Absolutely. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.